Well, good morning. Today is July. I was going to say August. <laughs> July 29th uh, at approximately 9.08 a.m. Eastern Time. Good morning. I pray everyone is having an awesome, wonderful, COVID-free summer. Uh, I've been vaccinated and my husband was vaccinated, but that's not the reason why I'm coming on. But I do encourage everyone to go get a vaccine so that we could beat this thing and put it to bed. Um, I haven't been on for a while. I've just been having some mm, interesting dreams. But I heard the Lord say to me earlier, I want you to do a video and tell the people about how you came to know me. Well, my testimony is uh, interesting. I knew a woman who was a friend of mine. Uh, I don't want to put her name out there. I'm not comfortable doing that. But she brought me to the Lord. I knew she was a Christian. I met her sister when I was in college. I used to hang out, drink with her sister, and, you know, my friend lived downstairs. And the one day, she came upstairs, and she introduced, my friend introduced me to her sister, who became my big sister in Christ. And she led me to the Lord. One day, I went, I went over, because our kids practically grew up together. She had four boys. I had two. And they became good friends. They were like brothers. In fact, uh, both my boys were in her one son's wedding. And the one day, it was in, I believe it was in the summer or early spring. It was warm. I went to her house. And I was in, ooh, there goes thunder. Okay, the Lord is speaking. I went to her house and I was drunk. I had a bottle of wine. I was not saved at the time. And she let me in and she was watching TBN Praise the Lord. It was an old, old show. And I sat down and started talking to her. And she, I don't really remember much, but what I remember changed my whole life. She said I was asking her all kinds of questions. So the boys were in one of the rooms playing video games. They were running around being boys. And the next thing I know, her eyes were fixed on me like someone stepped inside of her and started speaking. And all I heard come from her was, why do you resist me? I'm like, what did you just say to me? And then she's like, what? What are you talking about? I said, you said, why do I resist you? She said, that was not me talking. That was the Lord speaking to you. I said, oh, my God. And then I was talking to her about where do you go to church? Do you go to church? She said, yes, I have a home church. I go. Would you like to come? I said, okay. I went to church with her, hopped on the bus, met her at the bus stop because I didn't have a vehicle at the time. She gave me a old King James paperback Bible. And I instantly started reading. And I was highlighting all kinds of different passages that jumped out at me. And I would take it to church. I went to a midweek service with her on a Wednesday and the very first experience I had with the Holy Ghost was on the altar in this church. And I wasn't even saved yet. It felt like someone stuck their hand right down my throat, went right down inside of me, and pulled out all kinds of garbage. That's what it felt like. And that was the Holy Ghost. My life from that day forward has never been the same. And I can tell you, that was when Bill Clinton was president. And he came to Buffalo to HSBC Arena because we had had a snowstorm. And the kids were out of school for two weeks, and it led up to Christmas break. So this was in December, the end of December, right before New Year's. I don't remember the year. I would have to look it up. But just know, 
you are not far from salvation. You are not far from redemption, as the Lord spoke to me back back in the beginning part of this year because I was had an issue with backsliding. I've repented for backsliding, and I know God has forgiven me. I've been protected. There's a hedge of protection around me because I've seen it in the spirit. You are not far from God's reach. You are not too far away that all you have to do is call out to Jesus and he will come and save you. He will come and get down in the miry dirt. If you make your bed in hell, he's there for you, with you, through it, with you, everything. Jesus, 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 he is there for you. And God has kept me, believe me. I thought alcohol was my savior. Alcohol would dull the pain that I dealt with, emotional pain for 10 years. I tried everything to get rid of this pain and it would not leave me until I fully gave it to the Lord. And he took it. He has delivered me from many things. Just know, whoever's watching this video, you, and I'm talking to you, if God could take a wretch like me, Nancy Calamita Lanier, and pull me out of my way to hell in gasoline drawers, lit, he could do it for you. He did it for me. You are not far from salvation. You are not far, I'm sorry. You are not far from God's reach. Call out to him. Whoever you are that has just happened to come on my page, if you leave hater raid, you leave hater raid. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter to me what worldly people, oh, she's gone too far. No, I'm going to keep on going until God calls me home or until he comes back and saves us all from what's to come called the rapture of the church. You're not far from God's reach. God can reach you right where you are. No matter what you've done, call on the name of the Lord. He'll wash you as clean as white as snow. Has he done it for me? Yes. Put me in there many times by my head. <laughs> get clean, get clean. Yeah. Read the word. Every day, read the word. I listen to the Bible on my phone. I read. You're not far from where God can get you. Don't give up. Don't quit. And whatever you do, do not take that mark that's coming. Mark of the beast is coming. In fact, it's already here. They just haven't brought it outward yet. Keep your oil lamps lit. Most importantly, get yourself vaccinated best thing you can do to save your life. I've lost so many dear friends to this virus. My husband lost three cousins within six months of this virus. Two in one week. In April, I couldn't believe it, but it happened. Pray for your family members. Most importantly, pray for yourself. Don't take anything lightly right now in these last days. Call on the name of the Lord and he will come and save you. Because if he could save someone like me and turn my whole life around, he could do the same for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.